Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So, a couple of weeks ago, well I don't even think it was that long, I did a video called Get More Penetrating Shots and Remove Auto Aim. And this morning I woke up and I had this message. It says, Hello Fujit, a couple of weeks ago you made a video about auto aim. I gave it a bash. Here is my first game. So, I had a look at this game and I thought, wow, this is cool. So I've decided to share it with you. Now, in that video, I did say it ain't easy and you've got to sort of lower quite a lot of things, including the camera. Well, most importantly, the camera. And what my subscriber's done here, he's told me he's, he's actually dropped the camera and the joystick very low. But, after getting used to it, he has found that it's really helped him. Which sort of makes me feel good because I did a video and because of that video he gave it a bash and he enjoyed it. Now let me point a couple of things out. He's a veteran player so he's, he's, he's been playing a while but the thing is when you turn off auto aim it, it takes a bit of getting used to. It's not as easy as you would think especially if you played a long time with auto aim. And what you need to do, you need to try and do a little bit of experimentation to see what suits you. I'm not going to lie, it's not easy playing the game without auto-aim. But, believe me on this, you will land more shots if you can get used to it. The reason I say that is because when you have auto-aim enabled, it actually just aims for the tank. And, okay, you can if you're good enough, you can manipulate the auto-aim, obviously, to aim at the parts of the tank that you want to hit. But with auto-aim disabled, then the chances of you hitting those auto-bounce areas, etc., etc., is very much reduced. There is a trade-off, though, as I said, and the trade-off is it's not that straightforward. Because if you don't have the settings down quite substantially and you don't get used to it then you will find it's incredibly difficult because the gun will go everywhere the other thing and you know i was speaking to new beater about this and he explained it as well if you drop it down too much then it becomes sluggish um, if you keep it too high then it becomes uncontrollable so you've got to work it out yourselves to be fair and a lot of people don't want to do that, and I get that. There's also the hybrid method, which I believe my subscriber is doing here, which is for the main aim, he's still got auto aim, but in sniper mode, he's disabled auto aim, which you can do in the arcade mode uh, with button. Uh, so he's using auto aim to aim on the main thing with the main gun, but then he's able to disable it, and especially in sniper mode, and he's then aiming manually. So he's turned off auto aim for that. Now he's, he's done pretty well here, he's already done 2.9k damage and he's landed some really good shots. He will miss a few because, as I said, it does take some getting used to. But he is also hitting some spectacular shots because you're able to sort of manipulate the gun a lot better than what you would with auto aim. Now I'm not saying that if you turn it off it's suddenly going to improve your gameplay massively because it really does take a lot of getting used to. However, what it will do, it will, in time, once you're used to it, you will get a lot more penetrating shots. And you will, you will not bounce as much as you used to, because now you're not being automatically aimed for the centre mass of the tank. You are aiming yourself, and you're able to pull off some of those amazing shots that you see some of the best players pull. Because some of the best players, you know, if you if you harp onto juicy tender steak streams, etc., etc., you will see him pulling off some amazing shots. The reason being, he hasn't got auto aim on, so he's able to really, you know, hit those areas where it's guaranteed to pen. Which you, you sit there and look at it and say, "How did he do that?" Well, that's how he does it because he's not using auto aim. I love this game, and I mean, I love this replay, and I love the message that I mean, you've seen. Yeah, it's quite difficult to manipulate the gun when you're in auto aim to, to bring it round so quick. But back to my point, 
I love the fact that you know one of my little videos has potentially helped somebody. I think that's great. And I, I also love the fact that that particular subscriber then sends me a message saying, you know what, I watched your video, I gave it a bash, and I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Especially when that person is a veteran player. And not a bad player to boot. He's already done 4.7k in this game. It, it's, it's a bit nail-bitey, as you can see, it's a supremacy game. But he's done really well here in the K91. It's not, it, you know, it's a good tank, the K91. It's not the easiest tank, but it's a great tank. He's going to get a few bounces here because he is a Ho-Ri and they bounce everything. But he gets a good shot in there, leaves him on next to no hit points and finishes him off. 5.1k damage. Okay, it's one-on-one. -on -one. They're losing on points. I mean, why the Progetto does what he does next is beyond me. But hey, who am I to... I think he just wants the kill because he's on low hit points. But, wow. And here we go. Auto aim off. Boom. 5.4k. I think that's a fantastic game. And for his first game out without the auto aim, doing a 5.4k damage game, getting a great mastery, having four kills is fantastic stuff. And I'm really, really, really chuffed that I managed. One of my videos managed to do some help for somebody's game. Anyway, I've been Fujit. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.